please explain Hawking radiation and how will black hole vanish after trillion, 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 trillion of years? Yeah, black holes are weird objects. I wish I had a black hole in a lab. Then I would really be able to, you know, get get data, new data that could help uh, throw light on what gravity actually is like at the quantum scale. But we know that black holes most likely exist. We have seen objects that look like black holes. We know that there's a black hole at the center of the Milky Way. We know there's a black hole at the center of this, uh, of, of uh, uh, whatever other galaxy we, we recently took a snapshot of, the, the Event Horizon Telescope. So we know black holes exist. They have been observed. Now, what we find, what, what Stephen Hawking demonstrated using a semi-classical calculation is that black holes actually evaporate. Okay, they lose mass. So we know that a black hole has an event horizon and it, anything that, that crosses that horizon will never be able to return from the black hole. It, it will eventually fall inwards towards what's believed to be the central singularity of the, of the black hole. And as you fall inside, you get all distorted, twisted out and the spaghettification happens and not a good way to go unless it's a, it's a gigantic black hole. So uh, that's what you have. But now, at the boundary of the black hole, at the boundary of the uh, event horizon, we... I, I referred to some time ago about the uh, quantum field theory effect of the spontaneous creation and annihilation of particle and antiparticle pairs. And that is something that kind of uh, kind of violates the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, but the particle antiparticle pair again spontaneously uh, annihilates itself before the delta T condition is violated in the uncertainty principle. So it's fine. Okay. So let's say you have a particle antiparticle pair. pair that is formed right at the right outside the event horizon boundary and this antiparticle particle pair is it's formed like this and one particle falls inside the event horizon can never come back and the other one goes in the other direction so essentially the black hole through its gravitational field is footing the build the build the energy bill of creating this particle antiparticle pair this virtual pair which was supposed to spontaneously annihilate itself and, and then no energy would have been lost. But what happened is that one particle escaped and one was absorbed, which means that the black hole has actually lost mass. The particle that fell inside is considered to have negative mass. And the particle that goes out is considered to have positive mass. Uh, positive mass. So if you're an observer at a, at a distance, it will look, to you it will look like the black hole is radiating. Radiation is coming out of it because of this effect. And this is called Hawking radiation. So this tells you that the black holes have temperature because radiation is coming out. It is black body radiation. Okay, completely random radiation that's coming out of black holes. So black holes have a temperature and the temperature depends on the inverse of the mass of the black hole. Inverse of the square of the mass of the black hole. Or the mass. Look it up, look it up. Okay, uh, so that tells you that the larger a black hole, the colder it is. And the smaller a black hole, the hotter it is. Which, and it, if it is hotter, it means it will radiate faster. So the hotter a black hole it is, the faster it radiates and it eventually ends up exploding. Boom. So black holes end their lives in explosions. But when it comes to large black holes, supermassive black holes, they are so cold that they are colder than, than the interstellar space. They, they are colder than the cosmic microwave background radiation temperature, which means they accrete over time, which means they are essentially immortal. They will never die. Their lifetime is longer than the current age of the universe. So, yeah, that is what Hawking radiation is. And that's why some black holes are apparently immortal. Their, their lifetime is apparently longer. Not apparently, you can calculate and demonstrate it's longer than the current age of the universe. They're going to be around essentially forever from for all intents and purposes. So, yeah, trillions of years possibly.